So one more piece to work on your extreme green is visualizing the break that you're gonna take out to the course. Having proper feedback in your practice is critical to making this happen. I'm Jason Sedan coming to you from the Butch Harmon Floridian where I'm standing on the extreme green with about a six foot putt. I've placed an alignment rod down just outside the ball, something I see Dustin Johnson do a lot of. And he's become one of the best putters on tour of late, nailing five and oh at the Ryder Cup. I've added a couple poker chips. You might use a ball marker about halfway through just with enough room to roll that ball and still be on my desired line. So when I set up, I can get nice and square. I want to be able to roll this ball right through the poker chips. I've also placed one more up by the cup because I don't want to sneak this in the low edge. I want to give myself the entire arc of that putt to get gobbled up at the hole. So if I end up hitting one of these chips as I maybe sneak them in a little bit closer and say, you know, this is not the line that I was going on. If I just had nothing on the ground and kept rolling putts, maybe it's speed, maybe it's line, but now I'm starting to nail down again that visualization. Can I get it? square at setup to the stick on the ground. Can I roll it through my gate out there and with the proper pace to have that fall in? So I know I nailed it through the gate. I need to shift that just a smidge as I tighten it up and being able to have the feedback again. My stick hasn't moved. The hole hasn't moved. The tilt of my putt is consistent on the extreme green. When I get set up to it and I can roll through the gate, now I'm practicing with the opportunity to get better on the course. So if you can get feedback in your practice on the extreme green, you're in for lower scores when you go out to play.